How's it going folks? So I just got back from a fishing and camping trip, an overnight stay. Anyway, oh, we got there Friday night and the fishing was phenomenal. We were actually targeting belt fish and we finally found them. Um, when we first got there, they weren't really around, but under these lights, um, all the minnows are just schooled up and there's just tons of crabs, different sizes of minnows, um, finger mullet, black sea bass, you name it. All that was there when we first showed up. And then uh, within an hour or so, it was probably something to deal with the tide once the tide started really running good. Um, then the fishing really started to uh, change. I mean, it was, it was quite impressive. Um, everything happened so fast and I was so far from my camera that I didn't feel like, um, you know, missing the fishing uh, opportunity. I didn't know how long those belt fish were going to be there. Anyway, we end up using um, these little paddle tails, about I guess they're three inch, the three inch long paddle tails. We end up catching, I was fishing with my brother, my brother caught one, my daughter and I between us end up catching, let me see, eight. Um, and they're, they, they hit hard, but they, they pull hard too, because they actually, you'll notice when you're trying to um, bring them up, they're going in reverse. They're actually squiggling back back and forth and going in reverse. It's pretty cool. Anyway, and because they like they're super fast swimmers and they hit hit the minnow, hit their prey really fast, they just slam the rod down when you get a hit. It's pretty pretty awesome. Anyway, here are some of them. See this is how big this one here is long. That is a long boy right there. These things are awesome. And here, some more in the cooler. Let me pull these out. Like this. Hello? How you doing? Look at these teeth. How you doing? Oh, oh. Yeah? Yeah? Did you have a good time? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let me just straighten them out. Let them warm up a little bit before I cut them up. And is there one more? Yes. Oh yeah, see these things are long. Long and, whoa, hello. Oh, he's eating. Yes. Daddy. Hello. Daddy, right get it out of the head teeth. Oh, there you go. Daddy, Daddy. What? That's an eel. Yeah, no, it's not an eel, it's a belt fish. Look how beautiful that chrome finish is. So here it is. I ended up keeping five. I gave the rest to my mom. These things are pretty awesome. And look at these. Look at these teeth. These things are pretty nasty. Teeth on them. And look at that. Look how big that tooth is. Major predators here. Look at that. This kind of looks like a dinosaur head. If you think about those little birds, those dinosaur flying birds or something like that, that's what that looks like. Okay, I'm just measuring on. I'm just curious to see how long these things are. All right, from all right from nose, like for this one's my, one of my biggest ones, from nose to the very end, tail, about, it's a little over 33. It's 33 and a half inches long. See, these are these things are pretty big. They're just thin, and that one is like. Again, that's a 31. That one's a 31. Yeah, they're they're very good size. But anyway, 30 to 33 inches long overall. So that being the biggest one, and then one in the middle. That's the biggest. Oh, okay, let's get to um, cutting these up. Let's see how this goes. Mm-hmm. Watch out. He had to, excuse me. Actually, can I just cut this? Mm -hmm. Cut in and go up.
pretty good. There we go. There's one slice. Oh, look at the eggs. Now look at the eggs here. That's a female. A lot of Asians love eating all that type of stuff. Now let's flip it and do the other side. Yep. But look at this. This is a nice filet. Mm -hmm. This is a nice filet, filet right here. And then there's a little just a couple little bones right here. I'm gonna take out. A couple of bones right here. Now I'm just gonna take this out right here. And get behind these little rib bones right here. I'm gonna cut that out. Yes. There you go. There's no scales on this thing. And it's not slimy like a catfish either. Yeah, it's gonna cut that out. Smooth. Discard those pieces. Now you have a perfect good fillet. It's not even a bony. Perfectly good fillet here. No bones now. That's beautiful. Look at that. It I'm don't get much that. better than this. <laughs> Nice. These are easy to clean. I'm liking this. And look at these teeth. What? Look at these teeth. They're nasty. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Let's see if we can get in there. There, there's a pile of meat. I got about two pounds. That was five fish. Yep. You just go ahead and rinse things off. Now this right here, I'm gonna use for, um, um, catfish bait. Nice long strips, there's a lot of good meat on there. I'm gonna try it out. It's free bait, don't wanna, um, don't wanna waste any of the meat. That's the piece, of, that's all the, the rib meat and, um, with bones and everything, so. Look how good that looks. A few moments later. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's some good looking fish right there. Good, it's yummy. Mm-mm. What are you doing, Patrick? I mean, Jakey. What are you doing, Jakey? I am putting Tell me what you're doing. these belt fish in the egg and then let them, the layers drip and put them in here so my And then you shake it up, right? Yep, shake it up. You shake it up like this. 
Nice. Then put them in the pan. Cut, hold on for a minute. No. Let's get these guys out. Yeah, let's just get those. Okay, I put all the bell fish in one now. The rest. All in here. See how that looks. Oh, that looks good. This is actually the first time wow. all the family is having bell fish. So, this would be new for all of us. If these taste good, then we need to go back there and get more bell fish next time we go camping. Oh, they're going to be good. They're going to be real good. I can already tell. Yeah, you can tell. The meat's very white looking. Nice looking meat. Yeah, look at that white. Oh, let me flip these last two. And then we're going to get a whole other batch cooked in here. Right. Ain't nothing better than fresh fish. So the yep. next one.